everyone, it's Mr. Stubstep. Today, if you read the title, you would have seen Inteleon V10. You also got Sobble on the front, actually smiling, because Sobble is usually sad or scared for some reason, but he's actually smiling, so he's, he's welcoming you to open him up. So, we'll roll right into this, everything in the back. First up, we have the promotional card on the outside, the Inteleon V. Not too shabby. I, I like the artwork on it. It's just a shame that Inteleon V is probably the worst starter out of all of them. At least, yeah, like popularity-wise. Not bad. Here's a code. This one should be pretty good for y'all. I recently found out that the codes are literally just like online packs, which is actually kind of cool. And I was tempted to sell them, but I figured I might as well still give them out. So, here's the pack selection. As you can see, two Sword and Shield, Cosmic Eclipse, Burning Shadows, and Evolutions. I personally really, really like the pack selection in these tins, even in the Zamazenta and the, the Zashian tins. And that's one of the reasons why I don't mind getting them. They're a little bit pricier, but you get five packs. And I personally don't really like Rebel Clash too much, so this pack selection is perfect for me. So we will go in reverse order. Or, yeah, actually newest to oldest, and then just end with a Sword and Shield. So sandwich it in there. So we'll start with the Sword and Shield. Got that Lapras Gigantamax, or V, whatever you want to call it. So how you guys been? I've been all right. There's a code for y'all. Should be the same trick for every single one, except for the X and Y. Got some fighting. Nice. Hey, look at that. Very appropriate for this tin. And Grookey, the starter that I chose. Ball toy. I don't know if I have this artwork yet. Chin Chow, very nice. Reverse Hollow Rhyhorn, I think I have that one already. And a Keldeo V. I actually think I might have this one already, which is kind of funny, but, you know, if you got dupes, you got dupes. And these V cards are, while they are technically ultra rares, they are fairly common, so. But I will always take, it's just a shame that a lot of the V cards are just in very poor condition, condition with a lot of whitening on the outsides, but it's whatever. Cosmic Eclipse, besides Hidden Fates, probably one of my favorite Sun and Moon sets. It is very large, but there's just like a lot of potential, which is pretty awesome. Oh, shoot. Gave away the code. White. So, that means there's a good sign, hopefully. I, I generally don't like to spoil that for you guys or myself, because the reason why I do this is because of the surprise. Flareon. That's a nice artwork. Roller Skater. Clefairy. Carvana. Nice. Another Chin Chow. I really like Lantern in that line. Just bulky waters, a lot of HP. They make me happy. Rufflet. I feel like that's a reprint. Reverse Hollow Cosmog. I don't think I have this one yet. And a Lowland Persian GX. I actually think I have this one too, which, shoot. Yeah, duplicates on Ultra Rares is not the most fun because they're already so hard to get. And then when you get duplicates of them. It's just like, wow. But not a bad card. This one's actually in fairly good condition. It's, it looks like it's a little bit off-center, like going this way, it's a little off-center, but not bad. Not like I'm gonna get this graded or anything, but it's interesting to look at the quality. Burning Shadows, there's always a chance, and I don't know if you guys can see, there's some Burning Shadows packs back there that I hope to open in the future, which is very exciting for me. But yeah, I had some fun this morning, played a little tennis. It's quite warm because it's the summertime here where I am, but tennis is always fun. I have no professional training in tennis, so it's mainly just exercise and having fun. Semi-poor. And it's fairly cheap to get some materials to play it. I mean, you can always get like a soccer ball or something, but with two people, you know, tennis is a pretty fun sport. Ryalu, okay. Meowth Reverse Hollow, and... Gardevoir GX! Oh my goodness, this has been a fantastic tin. Burning Shadows has a Gardevoir GX? Wow, look at that. So, I don't know if I've told you guys, but Curlia is actually my favorite Pokemon of all time. I love like grass Pokemon and the starters, but Curlia is my favorite, so anytime I get Gardevoir, like I try to put Gardevoir on any of my teams, like in the video games. This is fantastic, probably not worth very much, but a GX in every pack is not too shabby. Um, 
But yeah, I'll have the prices in the bottom left corner as always. And just so you guys are aware, I usually just go off the market value the day. Oh my gosh, another white code and I spoiled it for you guys. There you go. But I usually just go off of uh, the marketplace on TCG Player. And then from there, I just round down usually. I never round up. Because I mean, it fluctuates so often, especially with the newer sets. Switch. Diglett. Ghastly. Oh. Caterpie. Good old pie. Drowsy. These artworks just never get old, even though they are old, which is kind of funny. Magikarp. Fantastic card. Reverse Hollow Rattata. I don't think I have this one, hopefully. And Pidgeot EX. Oh my goodness. Okay. I haven't said anything yet, but if we get a GX or Ultra Rare in every pack, or EX in every pack, that would be very wild, because then this 10 would be out of this world. I mean, no hyper rares or anything, but very fantastic so far. I, I cannot complain. I mean, if you get one ultra rare out of these, like a GX or an EX, it's usually a very good sign. All right, here's the last pack. These cards look very beat up, but you know what? I'll, I'll push through, I'll push through. Quick ball, Galvantula, nice. Air balloon. Okay, well, I guess I do have that one already because I just got two in the same tin. None of these are bad. I have all these already. Vitality Band, nice. Always good to get reverse uh, trainers. And a Cloister. So I, I don't think I have this Cloister yet, but yeah. That is not a bad haul at all. All right, so going through my pulls, got the obvious, Keldeo V, a Lowland Persian GX, Guard of War, is that a GX? Yeah, it's a GX, a Guard of War GX, and then a Pidgeot EX. So nothing crazy expensive, but fantastic stuff. So yeah, I'll go right into the, the ending screen, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.